Hey guys, this is Ravi Sagar. Welcome to Slashnode.in. Today I'll tell you how to start your own blog in a Drupal website. In this video, I'll tell you how to enable a blog. I'll tell you how to promote your blog to the front page. And I'll also tell you how to enable and disable the comments that people can post in your blog. I'll tell you how to access all the blogs that you have published to your website and in the end I'll tell you how to create an RSS feed and why it is very important for a blog to have RSS feed. So let's begin. The first step that you need to do for enabling the blog on a Drupal website is to enable this module that comes by default with the core which is known as the blog module it is very simple all you need to do is go to the module section and enable this module here and uh, let me now save this configuration and uh, this is it this is all you need to do for enabling the modules very simple thing to do uh, you don't re really need to uh, download any module you just need to enable the module that comes with the Drupal core. Okay, so now our blog module is enabled. So uh, uh, the first thing that you can do after you enable your blog is you can go to this link. So now you can see uh, we have three type of content, article, page and a blog entry. This blog entry comes after you enable your blog module. It was not there earlier. By default, only article and basic page content types are enabled on a Drupal website. So uh, let, let me quickly add a new blog and uh, uh, let's begin writing blogs. So you can say maybe uh, hello world. So this could be your first blog. Okay, so. Uh, I have just entered. I have just entered a title of the blog and the body, and let me save it. Okay, so now you can see this blog uh, has been created, and you can see this title uh, of the blog. It appears here, and uh, uh, it also says uh, submitted by root, which is in this case the username, and uh, here is the description or the body of the blog, and uh, you can see that. By default, there is a comment section which people can use to give their feedback on your blog. So uh, when you create a blog, you have an option to either enable these comments or disable them. By default, the comments are enabled when you uh, enable the blog module and I'll tell you how to disable it and there is a possibility to enable or disable the comment section for a particular blog post. So for example, if I go to this edit tab here, let me come down and here you see under the comment set settings. So you can see under the comment se setting, there is an option to either open or close your comments. By default, it is open and uh, you, if you want, you can close it. So let me close it and save it now. Here you go. Now you can see that the comment section is now gone. So very easy thing to do here, uh, nothing much. So till now we have simply enabled a blog module and uh, created our first blog. Now let me come to the home page of this website. Here you can see that the blog that we entered start to appear on the front page. And there is a possibility if you want to uh, not to promote your blog to the front page. Uh, let me create another blog. So I am creating my second blog here. So when you uh, create a blog post, there is an option under publishing section here which says promote it to front page by default 
for all the blocks it is enabled but if you want you can disable it so let me uncheck it and save it so uh, my new uh, blog post is now published on the website and uh, here you can see the comment section because we did not uh, disable them uh, ideally it is a good thing to have uh, on your blog uh, i would i would want my people uh, visiting the website to give their feedback or share their views so uh, uh, every blog should have a comment section it is my opinion uh, but it is up to you if you want you can, you can disable them anytime so uh, now we can go to the home page to check whether this is promoted to the home page or not so as you can see this uh, new blog that we created uh, it is not there on the home page because we did not promote it to the front page uh, now uh, let me show you how to disable promoting to front page for all the blogs so for that you need to go under this content type section and here you can see a blog entry so let me click on it so this is the configuration for all the blogs and here you can modify uh, settings for this blog content type and uh, uh, here you can see that the publishing options is promoted to front page by default so these are the default options for all the blogs so i can disable i can disable it by unchecking similarly if you want uh, you can uh, uh, close the comments it is up to you but i i would like to keep them open i anyways i have choice to disable the comments for a particular blog post so but uh, I don't want them to be promoted to the front page. So let me save it. So now uh, we have changed the default settings. And uh, let me show you the uh, default settings now. So I am adding another content again. Okay, so let me uh, I'm writing my third blog. So uh, you can check under this publishing options that the promoted to front page option is now disabled. So we have changed the default settings for a blog post so uh, very simple and easy things to do here uh, you, you can easily create your blogs you can change the settings you can control the comments so uh, now let me tell you how to access all of your blogs so if you come to the home page you can see that uh, it, it will only show you the blogs that be promoted to the front but uh, if you want to see all the blogs then you can do that by going to this page which says blog so here you can see that uh, this page will display all the blogs that you published to your website and uh, uh, if you want you can also create a menu item for it let me quickly create a menu for it so you don't really need to type the blog word in your address bar so i want to add a menu link under my main menu there is another video for uh, understanding how this menu system works so i recommend you to watch it also so i want to call it blog and uh, i am linking it to the blog page very simple stuff i'll save it Okay, so now you can see that we have another entry in our uh, menu, the main menu. So now uh, if you are not really promote, promoting your uh, blog to front page, then uh, you can always come to this page and uh, access all your blogs. So uh, <clears throat> I hope now you can start your blog uh, in very short time if you want to create a blog and uh, uh, 
uh, you want it to be on your own website. So now uh, you can use Drupal to create your own blog. So, uh, well, there is another thing that I wanted to show you in this tutorial and that is the RSS feeds. The full form of RSS feeds is really simple syndication and it is used basically to publish your blog to the outside world. And uh, RSS is basically an XML file that is generated every time you add any content to your blog. If you add a new blog entry, then this XML file will be updated automatically by your Drupal website. And it is very important to have this RSS feed in your site because uh, if you want to publish your blog to maybe a Twitter account or uh, or maybe your feed, Facebook account or if you want to, uh, to integrate your blog with the feed burner service, then uh, you really need to have an RSS feed enabled on your blog. And uh, in the Drupal website, uh, this RSS feed is enabled by default. You really don't have to do anything. The only thing you need to know is you need to know how, about how to access your RSS feed. So if you go to this blog uh, page where you have all the blog posts, then uh, if you go down, you will see this uh, icon here. And once you click on this icon, you will see this XML file has been generated. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, the, the blog entries that you created are presented in a format and this is a standard format that will be understandable by various services like uh, Google Feed Reader or, or any other service that uh, you are integrating with. So right now in this video, I will not go into the details of this RSS feed. I will create another video where, where I will show you how to integrate your RSS feed with the services like FeedBurner or maybe Twitter account and uh, the only thing you need to know about the RSS feed is, is the URL that will be generated and for generating the RSS feed you need to enter feed after your blog page. So very simple thing to do here and in this video we have just created a very simple and easy blog. I hope you can also do the same. And thank you.